Get an answer here at Target Center. Courtney Williams outside to Heinz Allen to the cup. Great job of Maisha Heinz Allen to move into the vision of Courtney Williams on that baseline penetration. 93 92. Cloud using a grinder screen. The pull up too strong. Williams the board. Cloud has made those shots all game. Good twist action by Griner. Under 90 to go in the fourth. Outside. They rotated Heideman in the corner. Tarasi watching defensively. And an offensive foul. Oh no. A one point ball game. Collier. That's a foul. And they, they do call it. it. No continuation. That is clearly a foul. Second in the WNBA and MVP voting behind Asia Wilson. <laughs> Career high 37 points. Diana Taurasi called head tap and everyone knows that's flat ball screen coming to the top of the floor and then Nate Tibbetts just changed the play which they all changed because Minnesota knew exactly what they wanted to run. 95-92. Tarasi into a ball screen here. Cloud looking for an opening blocked by Smith. Smith with the rejection. Poke away from behind and finds Carlton won't take the three. Minnesota will two clock. 50 seconds to go in the fourth. They're going to flatten it out here, Minnesota. They're going to Collier. Six on the shot clock. Carlton, watched by Cunningham. Three ball. Cash! Oh, oh, oh. She hit the game winner against Connecticut. And this is a huge triple by Bridget Carlton. A 7-0 run by the Lynx. Carlton, money from the corner. 38 on the game clock. Copper, blocked by Smith again. Smith around the rim, back to back. Allows Minnesota to lock in on their D right here. Great help from the weak side. Tarasi can't hit. Out of bounds. And it's going to be Minnesota basketball. And Phoenix down the stretch of this one. You get to playoffs. You got to execute in the quarter court. And Minnesota did so. There's a deflection. Oh. And it's going to be Phoenix basketball. Phoenix trying to get the ball in bounds quickly. You, you got to challenge that possession game. Phoenix doesn't have much time to go for a steal or a trap, but they. I thought uh, a referee, my Fos, Forsberg, said 18 on the shot clock. Right now, it's still sitting at 24. Nate Tibbetts putting Natasha Mack on the basketball to affect the vision, maybe get a deflection and a steal. Carlton looking to work it in, finding McBride. And foul is called. The Lynx in this ball game, 20 for 21 from the free throw line. And they'll look to ice it at the charity strike with Kayla McBride going to the line. Three for three from the free throw line she's tonight. Only 89% from the free throw line. <laughs> Again, this is it's quiet. It's uncomfortable quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. One more free throw for McBride as Griner checks back into the ball game for Mac. You got to push for a quick three if you're Phoenix. I would not let Tarasi get a touch here. Eight point lead. McBride right on her. Wow, quickly ahead. Over to Griner. They're going to have to put it up. 
McLeod going for a hard two and is fouled by Atlanta Smith. Well, Minnesota is the best in the W at defending the three-point line. And they did it well there. And Cloud will go to the free throw line. Cloud has done a lot of carrying in this ball game. 30 points, 10 assists, 6 rebounds. She's been brilliant from the jump. Missing the first free throw. Maybe miss on purpose here, putting Natasha Mack in. And Be Celeste, ready to rebound. Celeste Taylor will come back in the ball game. Everybody's got to be ready to box out. One for two for Cloud. 100 to 93. McBride getting the inbound and is fouled by Cunningham. Well, that's a tough place to inbound the basketball in that dead corner. And that's it for Cunningham. Her sixth foul. And McBride will shoot two. Cunningham night, night ends with eight points. Knocked down a couple of triples. 9.6 on the game clock. If you're Phoenix, you're happy with the way that you battled back. Took a lead at a couple points here in the second half. They just did not have the start that they had. You can't dig yourself into that kind of hole on the road. Down 23. But what a magnificent battle. And you knew the competitive toughness would rise to the top with Phoenix. Well, you got a series. I mean, they're going to be confident coming in here on Wednesday night. And this will be a fired up target center on Wednesday night. And of course, we'll be talking about it. It could very well be the last game in the career of Diana Taurasi, unless they're able to force a game three, which will be on Friday at Footprint Center in Phoenix. Maybe Diana is saying farewell to the Minnesota fans right now because she's talking to the fans. She's talking to the officials. I know the officials won't miss her. We will miss her. We absolutely will. I hope it's not it. I don't think Diana's saying farewell. 102-93. Cloud got the lay in. 33 points for Natasha Cloud, putting the cap on an outstanding night. Links get it in. Clock expires. Minnesota takes game one of this best of three series. Impressive. Nafisa Collier. 38 points on 19 shots, 13 for 14 from the free throw line. Minnesota had some game pressure and was under duress, but when it was winning time, they made the plays they needed to make. And how about that? Only the second time in WNBA playoff history that a game had two 30-point scores. 38 from Nafisa Collier.